Hello there, kids. That is I, Stray Cat, the one and only. Coming to you with another episode of New Vegas. All right, when we left off, we were on our way out after killing Mr. House and installing Yes Man into the Lucky 38's main computer system. So, now we just basically have to figure out which groups we want to leave alone or which ones we want to wipe off the face of the earth. We could probably do it ourselves, but... I'd rather, you know, you know, figure it out for ourselves and then have them do it. But uh, as it stands, Gamora is one of the first threats we need to deal with. So, and I do know we had some information about it from Yes Man, who got it from Benny. So, what we're going to do... Hello. <laughs> hey, he was dead a long time ago. Okay, nope. Hello, traveler. Okay, Gas, you are not looking at me for some reason. You wait Sitting here. Sitting tight and pretty. You are pretty. Don't get me wrong. Okay, let us head into Gamora, and we're gonna we're gonna need to keep some of our weapons for this. And I honestly don't remember how to do this correctly, to keep a uh, certain thing available. Hey. No one but Omeritas are allowed to carry Ooh, guns into Gamora. Check your yep. weapons with me. Okay. Keep my holdout weapons. You'll get these back on your way out. I'm sure I will. What? What? Why did that get taken? Okay. This is very weird. This is an issue that I have never seen before. Apparently, me having a light shining in the darkness is making it so Little Devil is no longer considered a holdout weapon. Even though it is supposed to be considered a holdout weapon. So, I'm confused and a little worried, but it's, well, yeah, it's whatever. Okay. I still have, you know, light shining in the darkness, which is a pretty decent gun. So, it's whatever. Receptionist. Hello, and welcome to Gamora. What can I help you with today? Well, uh, I'm calling for in, I'm calling in for an outstanding balance for some information. Tell me what the Omeritas are up to. I knew someone would call in that mark soon. Uh -huh. What do you want to know? There we go. I need to know who to talk to about what's been going on in Gamora. All I can tell you is to find Kachino. He's the lowest level Kachino. lieutenant you're going to be able to talk to. Some of the girls say he's been involved in some shady business the family wouldn't really like. Mm. Ask him about it. Fair enough. I'm sure you have all the good dirt on what goes on around here. I sure do. But loose lips <laughs> sink ships. That they do. Don't worry about me. I can keep your secrets. It right. just needs a 28. Pretty trustworthy. <laughs> it just needs 28. Wow. Uh, I need to get going. Bye. Alrighty. Well, it loves some good extra XP, I guess. Now, we need to find Kachino. Which should be around here. He was looking for some work. Uh, she would probably kill you for that, buddy. And, uh, she's currently outside, so how do you know I had one? Well, I had a companion. That's what I meant to say. That came out weird. Uh, the Brimstone. I think this is where I'm supposed to go. Oh, hey, Katina. I hear you've been asking questions about me, dickweed. What, what? the fuck do you want? I, the what? I didn't even talk to anyone except the receptionist. How the fuck do you hear about that? All right, uh, I hear you've been doing some business on the side. Business? What the fuck do you mean, business? You looking to get yourself burned? Well... Now you start talking real clear, and I mean fucking crystal clear, because I'm about to lose my patience. That was pretty crystal clear. I heard you've been dealing in some business that is off-limits for the family. I don't give half a dick what you heard. Now get the fuck out of my face before I burn your sorry ass. That was very fourth-grader-esque, that. I'm gonna take your journal here. Add some of your rounds too. And the key. That's why having a high sneak skill is very useful. Alright, hey, Katino! You again? What the yeah. fuck do you want? I got your journal right here. I found this ledger that proves some of your side business. Where the fuck did you get that? <laughs> Out of okay, your pocket. Listen, buddy, that's some <laughs> dangerous shit you got there. No shit. That book can get me killed if the wrong people see it. Let's oh. talk. What do you want? What can I do for you? All right, I'm. Con I'll consider you giving you this for some cash up front. Okay, you got me by the balls. 
Here's a couple hundred caps. Maybe that'll buy you friendship. Yeah, I think it might. I think it might. Two hundred. Okay. You think the family would like to see this? I can't stop you, but that's gonna mean my death. Okay. You can make it with your while to give it to me, though. Plus, Will ya? if you go to the bosses, I can't help you stop what they've been doing. Really? Uh, this journal worth a hundred caps to you. I can pay you for it, of course. That's I weird, because I already extorted them for 200. I about the family's business that you might find interesting. Between you and I, we can break up what they're planning. Maybe save some lives. Mine included, of course. Fair enough. Okay, 100 caps and you help me break up whatever your bosses have planned. I already extorted them for 200. Oh, here's some I caps. guess it's 300. Now give me the journal. All right, there we go. So let me tell you what I know about the family's business. All right. The bosses, Big Sal and Nero, have been working for a while on this. They're arming themselves like an army, using this new guy, Troik. Troik, huh? They also brought in a specialist named Clandon. Clandon. At least that's what they introduced him as. So what kind of specialist is Clandon? I got no fucking idea. They let him have the run of the place, though. He seems like a nice guy, but he makes me nervous. Does he? He's a little arrogant, but he's too nice. Too hmm. open. I've never seen him fucking or gambling. Everyone see him has fucking? advice, but this guy seems like the Pope. How would you know what the Pope is? <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, I guess. I mean, the Pope's been dead for, what, 200 plus years? How the fuck would you know what the Pope is? Unless they were, like, in their own little vault and they continued Catholicism. I don't know how that would work. I have a couple more questions. Okay, toss them at me. Uh, tell me about this Troik. He's a skittish little fucker. Uh -huh. Spends half the day pumping his body full of chems and the other half pumping hookers with his willy. <laughs> he has some kind of connections, so he's able to smuggle huge shipments of weapons into the strip. The boss has got him by the short hairs. We covered up a hooker he killed while flying on some psycho, so he oh. gets his guns in exchange for not ratting. Fair enough. That's all the questions I have for now. I may have more later. Okay, you can find me here or upstairs in my room. All I'll right. let the muscle know you're a friend of mine. That should let you get around a little easier. Fair enough. And hopefully with my weapon still attached to my hip, because that'd be nice. So, Troik would be downstairs, if I assume correctly. And I assume I have to go through here to get to him. Okay, there we go. Down to the lower brimstone, I think. Ah. Give me just a moment. I'm going to fix my chair. Uh, ah, there we go. Thing was leaning back a little too much for me. Sorry for all the squeaks. Okay. Alrighty. Now we're back. Down to the lower half of this place. Oh, those are just the two different elevators. I just got to go around. Oh, oh. Okay, that's an outfit. Alrighty. So, just need to find out where this troik is. Just not go somewhere I'm not allowed. Hey! Hey, buddy. What we doing? Uh, open this door. Huh. Must be in here. And if my perception's correct, he's right over here. Hey, troik. Let's turn on a light so I can see you. Hey, Who buddy. Who you? I didn't do anything. Leave me alone. You seem kind of suspicious. Kachino sent me to ask you about some guns. Kachino? Kachino what? Are you kidding me? He must be trying to get me killed. Maybe. But uh, then he's going to die too, so it's either way. Uh, I'm looking to help Kachino break up whatever the bosses are planning. Yeah? Well, fuck that. The bosses have my number and I'm a company man while they got the goods on me. Uh-huh. <laughs> if you don't report me, I will... If you don't help me, I'll report your work here to the NCR. Well... Uh, that would be a way to do it, but maybe I can help you get out of your contract with the family. More power to you if you can, but keep me out of it. I've been doing business with Big Saul, so he's going to be your man. Big Saul? Huh. Oh. Trunk would again. like help getting out quick. of... Helping... the <laughs> Big Saul get out of the contract. Tell me about what happened with the prostitute. Oh, man. I don't even like to think about it. All uh, that goddamn blood. It was just in the hotel, like any other night. Uh-huh. I took some chems with the girl I was with, but I never black out. I did this time, though. Hmm. Next thing I knew, I woke up, she was lying next to me, stabbed dead. There was a knife next to the bed, and I was covered in her blood. What kind of chems were you doing? That night, 
mostly buff out. I like to cut it with a little bit of jet and wash it down with some whiskey. That was my standard Saturday night. That seems like a lot of chems. Wouldn't that make your heart like explode or something? Uh, that's it for now. I need to pop something real quick before I continue on. Uh, I think I still have a medical journal here somewhere. Uh, Programmer's Digest. Uh, shit, where is it? I know I have one. Today's physician, there we go. You again. Make it quick. Yeah, I need to talk to you about the prostitute. Yeah, let's skip through all this. Chems. That doesn't sound like enough to get you to lose the whole night. What? Yeah, you're right. I wonder what was up with that. Well, I have a couple more questions about what happened that night. Something in the story doesn't sit well. Talk to Big Sal or look around for some evidence to exonerate him. All right, how about it? Or I could talk to Big Sal and just expedite the whole thing. Do you know where the knife came from? I keep a little switchblade tucked away with me. You never know when you might find some trouble. Fair enough. Uh, any more stuff? How did the family find out about it? When I saw the body, I started screaming. In a few seconds, some of their soldiers were in there cleaning up seconds. the room. They offered to keep silent about what happened if I agreed to help them get their hands on large quantities of guns at deep discounts. All right, how about it? Rather quick response time. And how many soldiers was there, really? Would you like me to try to get you out of your contract? You'd do that for me? I'm not sure what can be done, but you'd be doing me a solid if you would. I've been talking to Big Saul, mostly. Big Saul. All right, let's go to Big Saul. Find out where the hell he's at. Okay. That's an offer that I was not intending on following through on. Not anytime soon, anyway. All right. Now we got to find out where Big Saul is. I got kicked out of the Lux the other day. Man, that place gives me the fucking freaks. Fucking freaks? You said creeps. What the fuck? You called them fucking freaks. They're a freak! They're a goddamn freak! Okay, that's enough of that. Okay, there's a lot of moaning around here. I can hear that. All the way up here. Weird. Okay. Let's try and find out where this uh, dude is. Well! That, them, them some noises. Them is some noises right there. Huh. Oh, this is... This is the other guy. This is Clandon. If the NCR ain't gotta worry about Caesar no more, it should work. Okay. Hey, nice to meet you. Do you need help with something? Uh, what do you do around here? A little bit of this and a little bit of that. That all you're gonna tell me? How did you end up with one of the, uh, hotel suites? I'm a close friend of some of the family around here. I do some independent contracting around the casino, and they set me up with this great room. Mm-hmm. Kachino sent me to talk to you. Kachino? Yeah, I've heard the name. Not sure why he'd send you to me. Is he helping out with room service or something? Well, I guess it's time for me to go. Later. Alrighty, what the hell is this guy? Wait, what? There's a safe. Okay, let's turn off the lights so we're not detected. Oh, there's a safe right behind here. Okay, there we go. Now we can actually open the bastard. Okay, where's the fucking spine? There we go. Ah, lost karma. Whatever. Snuff tapes. Oh. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Note added snuff tapes. Okay, uh, there was an added note in the quest, so I should probably look at that. Uh, show Kachino these tapes from Clandon's safe, or confront Clandon with them. Hmm. That's an idea. I could do that. Uh, Clandon. I hear reports of Legion raiding parties all over the place. Well, Good to see you again. Hope you're winning some money in here. Well, I think the authorities would like to hear these tapes I found in your safe. I think I should kill you before you have a chance to show those tapes to anyone. What do I have to lose? Ooh. Well, I'd give you the tapes if you promise to leave Vegas and never come back, and give me 200 caps. All right, give me the tapes and I'll leave. Fair enough. I'm going a long way away from Vegas, but you better hope that you and I never see each other again. Fair enough. Sounds good to me. Clandon's been taken care of and won't be able to help the Omerdas anymore. Kachino should be... It will do. And I'm going to find uh, Big Sal. Whoa, what's Whoa. this guy? The great Caesar is dead. 
Yeah. The management doesn't seem too happy. What do you mean? They don't seem too happy. That should, like, help the entire world, really. If anything, eventually it'll just collapse on, on top of itself. The entire, uh, legion. Oh, excuse me. I am burping like a motherfucker. This rock star, I swear. All right. Now that we've gotten done with this. Hmm. Be perfectly honest, I've never dealt with Clandon before. That's the first time I've actually been able to deal with Clandon. I am very excited. <laughs> now I might be able to figure out some new things. All right. What's locked very hard? Huh? Hmm. Should I or should I not? Uh, I should, I think. That's a force lock 10%. That's rather not a good percentage to do. Okay. We got going on here. Okay. Open this. Oh, this is where the weapons shipments are. Okay. Alrighty. Whoa. It's a lot of flamers. Flamer fuels as well. I don't know why I just picked up the flamer ammo. If anything, that's just a detriment. It doesn't actually give me much in the way of, you know, any value. That's the word. Oh, why am I carrying all that? I could have given that to... Oh, Jesus. Hubert Horatio Christ. Okay. I'm going to have to give that to... Da -ba -da -ba -da. Cass. Whoop. That was a weird glitch. In just a moment. I just want to make sure I grab all of this first. Uh, assault carbine, flamer. Yep, we're all good. Okay. Uh, there we go. Let's combine the flamers. At least, uh, yeah, get them to a higher value. That'll work. And assault carbine. That's actually a pretty high value on its own. We're going to leave that as it is. All right. And there we go. Leave that for the time being. For later. There we go. Alright. And they didn't notice me do that. That's kind of nice. Those rangers in black armor? Uh -huh. I wouldn't want to make one of those now. Yeah, I wouldn't want to either. Seem like the real deal. We got down here. Oops. Bosses don't like no trouble in that place. Okay, why are you talking to each other? Okay. What am I doing down here? What? Where? How did I get down here? Tops. Here? Tops. Well, I'll be helping with that, considering I just uh, helped them liberate themselves of a rather scrupulous fellow. That's a word I don't use often. <laughs> I don't know why I used it this time. Okay. That is a lot of noises. A lot of noises that are of questionable content. Uh, let's go to the main level. I think Big Sal's up in the main level. If I remember correctly. At this point, I was just exploring around, seeing how the rest of the place is. Since I'm already discovering new shit as it's going on. Alright. Figured, why not? Might as well. Brimstone. Let's go, let's go talk to Kachino. Where's he at? Uh, he's not in here. No, he's not. No, nope, there he is. Gino. Gamora is always open for business. I'm sure it is. Hey, what can I do for you? Hey, buddy. Uh, Clandon is leaving Gamora and won't be back. Oh, is that right? Well, I guess if he's gone, he's gone. I don't need to know anything more than that. Fair enough. What's the next step in bringing up the boss's plans? Now we cut off the head of the serpent. Big Saul and Nero have to die. Whoa. Uh... I'm not ready to take out the bosses yet. Hurry and get ready. I'll give you a gun when you get to the room. Fair enough. I already have my gun, though, so I'm good on that. But, uh, first I should deal with the bosses. Let's, uh, talk to them real quick. And I think they're up here, if I remember correctly. Talk to them about Troik's contract. Uh, where is the bosses? Oh, that's not right. I don't think that's good either. Whoa. Hey, Big Sal. Hey, you're Kachino's friend. Yeah. You got business with me? Yeah, I do. Nick and Ralph are curious why you stopped buying guns from them. Sorry, but I don't know you from Adam. 
and you don't have any business getting in our business. Fair enough. That is quite a voice right there. We a run business. a whole tub. What do you think our business is? Fair enough. I think I may have screwed up something in this quest because I'm supposed to be able to talk to him about that. Hey, you're the one everyone's talking about. What business you got with me? Uh, what kind of business do you do here? All kinds of business. Most of it is ours. Fair enough. Yeah, I did screw this up. So I'm going to be doing a little bit of cheatsy doodles and uh, recalling a save. There we go. Uh, going to recall that save to there and see how it goes from there. Pacino should be informed, but I want to deal with Troik. Troik's the main issue. Uh, yeah, got to talk to S Big Sal about mysterious gun shipments. I'll definitely be doing that in a moment. Yeah, this is the only time I'm going to do little savey cheatsy doodles, or at least the only time I remember, because, okay, I'm stuck behind the door. Great, fantastic. There we go. Because this needs to be done and done right. Okay, they're not in here. Are they? No, they're not. Chichino's over there. Where are the other bosses? Where are they at? Whoa! Some weird glitches going on. Oh, there they are. I hear the Legion is moving some tough Thanks. muscle into the area. Big Sal. Hey, buddy. Hey, you're Kachino's friend. Yeah. I'd like to talk to you about Troik. There we are. Ah, Troik. What's he want? Some more jet? A fresh batch of girls? Maybe a guy or two this time. Hey, I don't know what he wants. Bisexual? That's pansexual? Whatever the hell it's called. That's bunch of different names that they all apply to. Uh, he bisexual. Anyway, something about his story doesn't sit right with me. What, that he's a murdering jethead? Not a new story around here. Uh-huh. Barter or lie. See a neg negotiation for some lower prices for weapons for you guys. Troik is pretty strung out. He'd be more trouble than his worth. Yeah, I see where you're coming from. Okay, tell Troik he can hit the road. Alrighty. And do, and will keep do. Their heads down. And I'm going to continue on this episode until I finish this uh, mission. Because I want to show you guys how everything goes. And uh, I did screw it up, apparently, by the look of things. Sounds good. But uh, currently, in the middle of something else. Alright. So, I have to go down back to Troik. Tell him that we got him out of his contract. And then he'll help us destroy the rest of the weapons shipments. I think. Yeah. I need to remember how it actually goes. Because we get something really cool after this particular mission. We get something really cool. It's an unmarked mission. But that's why you need to do it right. Okay. Now we got to refine Troik. Where the hell is he at? It's over down this way, I think. Welcome back. Yep. Yep. And there he is, I think. Yeah, that's it. That's it. Hey, Troik. Hey, buddy. You again. Make it quick. Yeah, I managed to get you out of the contract. Big Sal agreed to let you go. Holy shit. Really? Okay, I'll help you. But I'm getting the hell out of here first chance I get. Uh-huh. So, what can you tell me about the guns the Omertas have? They're keeping them in a little utility section down off the basement. I don't know what they're arming themselves for but I know it isn't for the good of mankind. Usually not, for that sort of thing. How'd you get the guns into the strip? I'm pretty proud of myself. It's a stroke of genius if I could be so modest. Okay. The whole arrangement starts with an old buddy of mine in the Republic. He's responsible for packing and shipping supplies to the NCR on the strip. Okay. He marks some containers as food and medical and packs them with guns and other shit. From there, it took just a couple of greased palms to get someone to let me cherry pick a container or two out of every shipment. Easy as pie. Fair enough. Couple more questions about them. Okay. Try and be fast about it. All right. Where do the guns come from? I've made a lot of contacts over the years. I have some friends back in California that can get their hands on just about anything. Fair enough. Mostly, I've been calling in every last favor I have. Sounds good. That's probably why you've been able to get away with it. One okay. more question. Try and be fast about it. I'm being as fast as I can. What can we do to take care of them? As a little pet project, I've been making some thermite. Have you? Thermite burns as hot as the devil's asshole and can melt through just about anything. That's I've been keeping it so if the family betrays me, 
I can hopefully do some damage before I end up dead or in jail. Fair enough. If you don't deploy the thermite yourself, I'll tell the bosses what you've been planning. Hey, fuck you. <laughs> All right, I'll place the fucking thermite myself. You get out of the casino for a bit. I'll take care of it while you're gone. Fair enough. Sounds good. Torque is going to destroy the guns. I should head out of the casino and give him time. Okay, will do. Head back up to the suites. I don't think that's the elevator I should have taken. Huh. Alrighty. Let's see if we can find another elevator to get back down to regular floor. Oh, this was the elevator. Uh, the main level. There we go. Okay, we just have to head out of the casino now. There we go. Perfect. You have to head out and then come back in. Now this is going to be weird because we're going to get notifications for all the weapons that we just get back. And then we'll have to give them back again. <laughs> Hopefully it doesn't glitch out and keep some of my weapons. Because they're very important to me in particular. Alrighty. I'm getting all of them back. Troy should have had enough time to destroy the guns. Alright. First off, we're going to give Cass back her got. things. Uh, whoops. There we go. How's her uh, inventory space at now? 92. That's not bad. Alright. Now that we're done, I think she's going to stay here for the time being. Yep. She's, she's going to wait there. So, I just need to go back in. Hopefully I don't lose everything. That would be bad. There we go. Welcome Whoa. back to Gamora. I know you're good for it, but you're still going to have to leave your weapons with me. Fair enough. I'll keep my holdout You'll weapon. get these back on your way out. Sounds good. All right. Now is Little Devil gone again? Yes, it is. I don't know why it still does that. Supposed to not do that. Hmm. Well, the Legion is also gone, so there's that. Alright, now we gotta head to Kachino. Wherever the hell he's at. Oh, there he is. He is walking backwards for some reason. Kachino. Hey, what can I do for you? Uh, Twerk destroyed the guns for me. Yeah, poor fucker got himself caught after he melted all the guns. Oh. Bastard mentioned your name before they shot him in the head. Oh, shit. Now the bosses want to see you. Uh, Clandon is leaving Gamora and won't be back. Oh, is that right? Well, I guess if he's gone, he's gone. I don't need to know anything more than that. Fair enough. What's the next step? Now we cut off the head of the serpent. Big Saul and Nero have to die. Fair enough. All right. What happens when the bosses are gone? When they're gone, I'm gonna run this joint. Don't worry, I'll take care of this place. I'm sure you will. How do we take care of them? They're a little bit upset about what's been done to muck up their plans. They tasked me to find out who's responsible. Fair enough. There isn't gonna be another chance to get both of them together in the same room. I'll slip you a gun, and we can take them out. All right. They are going to expect something from me. You can do it and surprise them. That might screw things up. Uh, let's go take care of the bosses. Hurry and get ready. I'll give you a gun when you get to the room. Fair enough. Okay. He's gonna be stuck there for a bit, it looks like. So. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. That doesn't look good. Okay. Let's head up there ourselves. Okay. You got something you need um, to talk about? This is the worst time for the game to glitch up. Maybe I should sit down. Nope, it's not letting me sit down. Okay. Well, shit. This is not good. Not good specifically because Kachino's not heading up correctly. Whoa. Or is he? Oh, there he is. Okay, cool. I just needed to walk up. All right. Yeah, man, this episode's getting longer than I expected it to. In the next episode, I'll show you what we get from this. But, or at least it should. Alright. Hopefully, if all goes well. 
If not, well then fuck. <laughs> Alrighty. Hey, hey, here's that gun I promised you. I suggest using it while they are talking. Okay. I'm pretty sure they're gonna words. kill you after they talk. Okay. So Alrighty. Why did you say that so loud, Kachino? So I assume you know why we called you here. Yeah, I hear you lost some guns. Did one of your contractors get lost? <laughs> yeah, clan will be hard to replace, but not impossible. We'll mm. find contractors just like them, without breaking a sweat. I'm sure. As a last request, will you tell me more about your plan? Are you shitting me? You didn't even know what the plan was. Yeah. As a last request, I guess we can give you that courtesy. Hey, nice. So... Well, Nero didn't tell me any of this when he convinced me to take you out. So tell me about your plan. Caesar asked us to provide a distraction on this trip. So when oh. he gives the word, we're going to launch an all-out assault on this trip. All right. First, we're going to blow the embassy. Then we're going to use soldiers to kill every last motherfucker on this trip. Then we'll run this joint. That'll teach not at home. What can go on while he sits in his fucking ivory tower lording down from on high? Well, Nero didn't tell me any of this when he convinced me to take you out. The fuck? I knew there had to be someone higher up helping you. Nero, you backstabbing, two-timing motherfucker. I knew this day would come. Alrighty. And watch yeah. them kill each other. Hey, can we... Whoop, that's not good. Not... Good having him die at all. Let's just put some bullets into Nero's head. And gone he is. Alright. Hey, hey! I'm accepted on the strip. Folks have come to accept you for your helpful nature. Oh, your arm probably is a little hurt. Oh, Big Sal is dead as shit. Uh, let's take some of his stuff. Not the hull. We don't need that. I'll take his... Clothing, though. Okay. How about his as well? Might as well, considering we have quite a bit of stuff now. Thanks to all that. Form yes, man, that the Omertas are no longer a threat. But first, Kachina. Hey, thanks for all the hard work back there. Yeah. I'm gonna run a tight ship here, don't you worry. I'm sure you will. Planning on playing some games in the casino. Of course. After all you did for me, here are some chips for you. Play. Have some fun. And he will continue to do that, considering... When it's how many days, yeah, you know what I meant. <laughs> Bye. Depending on how many days. That fucking word salad, man. Anyway, we are good. This quest is done. Oh, if I can jump down. There we go. All right. And we are good for this episode. I'm going to head right on out. And I'm going to end the episode here for right now. Thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more. And click the like button if you like this particular video. And share and comment so we bring more people into this community. We can talk about the games we're playing together. And I will see y'all in the next episode. And I stuttered on that outro. Oh well. <laughs> this has been the one and the only Stray Cat playing games for you.